Hey, what's going on? Yo, Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate the new MetaHumans in Unreal Engine 5.6 using just a webcam or a camera. That said, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we want to make sure you have all the plugins enabled for MetaHuman. Just like so. And make sure that you have the MetaHuman Cortex also installed in your engine like I showed in the previous video. And after that, all we have to do is go to Tools, Capture Manager. Now, right now, you're going to see an error that says, hey, this is going to be moved to the Live Link Hub later in 5.8. That's fine. I'm just going to say, hey, go to Live Link Hub. This is now going to launch the Unreal Live Link Hub. Now, if you've used Unreal Engine for Fortnite, this is nothing new to you. We've been using this for quite a while. But they did add a couple of stuff in here. Now with the live link hub open, I will go to add source and you can see right here we have now MetaHuman video and I'll click right here. I'll just delete this AR kit port for now. And in here I have my video device, which is the cam link 4K and in the subject name, I'll just put JS Films. I'll say connect and it's going to populate it right here. And if I scroll down, I can now monitor this in the input video. I'll make this bigger so we can kind of take a look at some settings in here. You can tweak whatever settings you want. Uh, right now, this is only showing 10 FPS, but that's okay. This is just, I think, the preview, so I won't worry about it too much. Additionally, you can enable and disable the head movements on the MetaHuman itself. It just If you just want the straight up facial animation and check these now again there's really not much documentations on this but i'm just going to use common sense if i were to capture something and i don't want a lot of motion blur i'm going to go ahead and turn my shutter speed on my camera really high so that i'm not getting a lot of blur additionally my aperture is also you know a higher number so that that it's not shallow depth of field that the image is quite sharper and additionally i'm going to get closer to the camera while we're doing this so that the camera camera can see our entire face and then I'm wearing a hat so it doesn't kind of mess up the solve or anything but we have a capture neutrals here now I'm assuming this is to capture the neutral face so what I'll do is I'll just hover my mouse over it look straight and have a neutral pose okay it looks like it captured it so that's good to go and additionally there's one more option that you want to check out which is the smoothing you can have default smoothing or heavy smoothing. I'm just going to leave it at default right now. Now, once everything is set up here, I can go ahead and minimize this. And I'll also minimize this because we don't longer need that. Now, next, what we'll do is we will go to the MetaHuman, click it. And in here, which is BP Girl 5, I'm going to go to the Live Link subject. And I'm going to say JS Films right here. And under that, I'm going to click on Live Link. And now I am driving. Let me zoom in a little bit. Get closer. All right, so I just put the video side by side so you can see it. Now there is going to be some slight delay because obviously it's only showing 10 frames per second. I am in epic settings right now and the MetaHumans look crispy. This looks really nice. Before we go, what I will do is actually record a take so we can see this in an actual animation sequence. All right. So first things first, I'm going to turn down the engine scalability because it, this is too nuts. We're getting 60 frames per second right now. But again, this is at epic settings. So let's just go with medium. I should be okay with that. And honestly, the meta humans still look pretty good. Uh, the teeth just looks like GTA 6 teeth though, I see. Ah. That said, we're going to go to the take recorder right now. And I will just drag and drop the BP girl in there. Let's see here. I'm not going to reduce any of the keys. And I'm going to leave everything else by default. Animation, linear, and whatnot. Alright, so for the frames per second, I'm going to set this to 60. I'm not sure if it's going to make any difference, but we're going to find out. And let's press record. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate new MetaHuman in Unreal Engine 5.6 using just a camera. And maybe later, show you how to animate it using just audio. All right, so that's the recording. And what I will do is uncheck this so we're not going to be using that uh, MetaHuman anymore. But in the cinematics, we should have a cinematics now. In the level sequence right here. And it should pop out to the animation that we recorded. Let's go back and press play. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate new MetaHuman in Unreal Engine 5.6 using just a camera. And maybe later, show you how to animate it 
using just audio. Now I'm looking at this here and I'm trying to compare it to see if it's better than the live link face on the iPhone. Um, and, and what's cool about this is you don't have to necessarily use a live camera. You can also use a uh, video, recorded, pre-recorded video to do this here. Uh, if you wanna, if you want me to cover that, just let me know in the comments below. But don't know if this is better than the Live Link Face version. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is the is better than old Live Link. I'm not talking about Medium and Animator. I'm talking about the Live Link facial animation. That's it. That's pretty much it for this video. If you want to know more about Unreal Engine 5 MetaHumans, just leave a like and comment so that I know that y'all are interested. Peace out.